You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Hello, and welcome to another segment of CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. This week's CNA Hero is another that I had the privilege of honoring at CNA Fest 2019 in Little Rock, Arkansas. Deborah Garrett from Colorado, at the age of 24, was trying to figure out what she wanted to do with her life. She thought she wanted to be a nursing assistant. Her friend was a nursing assistant, and Deborah even shadowed her for a shift, only to have her friend tell her afterwards, this is not for you. So she worked a variety of jobs, none of which she says were meaningful or successful, but they allowed her to work around her schedule, caring for her son who was diagnosed with a severe and lifelong mental health condition. She advocated for him as his primary caregiver even for years after he left her home. In 2007, Deborah's son went to live in a long-term care assisted living residence specifically geared for the adult living with severe persistent mental health conditions where he's now thriving and under the care of, you guessed it, CNAs. Knowing that she won't be around forever, Deborah spent the next eight years letting go in increments of overseeing any and all aspects of his care, which allowed their relationship to blossom in an entirely new way. Now, after years of advocating for those suffering from mental illness and mental health conditions, working to establish regional and local chapters of NAMI and other support groups, Deborah had the time to do what she had wanted to do as a 24-year-old, become a CNA. Deborah completed her classes in December 2016, and she passed her state exam in February 2017. Then the real fight began. The state withheld her licensure because on her online application for certification, Deborah had indicated that she lived with a mental health condition, specifically depression. She then got a letter telling her that she was now required to prove that she would be a safe CNA. Deborah was required to submit documentation of her entire medical and mental health history, including diagnosis, treatment, medications, dosages, and dates. She was required to submit a letter that she wrote describing her own personal self-care plan to manage her mental health condition, explaining how she would ensure being a safe CNA. And she was required to submit paperwork provided by the state and filled out by her health care provider, her physician, declaring her to be a safe CNA candidate. Several weeks later, upon completion and the state's receipt of these documents, her licensure was approved in June 2017. How many people would be so determined to be a CNA that they would jump through all of these hoops? It is just incredible. Deborah was then hired to work in a skilled nursing facility, and she currently works in assisted living. For advocating for mental health patients and supporting them, and for fighting for your nursing assistant certification, Deborah Garrett, you're a true warrior. Please, everyone, join me in celebrating the strength of Deborah Garrett, CNA hero.